Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this course. And in this course, I'm going to show you guys how to start a uh, print on demand business. Okay. If you guys know me, uh, you guys know that I've been, you know, doing business online now for over a decade. I've built some really big brands, some doing over $30 million a year. Um, and that one being fragrantjewels.com. And I'll tell you what, I've moved to LA, I've moved to Hollywood, I built warehouses, I've moved to Malaysia and worked on businesses over there. And nothing has been more simpler than the business I'm gonna show you right now. And, and, I, and I truly mean that, guys. This is one of the simplest business models that you can you know, you can build. And not only that, it's so scalable, right? I love POD and there's a few reasons. Actually, let's get into the, let's get into the slides and I'll go into the reasons of why I love POD. Okay. So in this, in this video, uh, I'm going to go over what is print on demand. Okay. I'm going to show you also the opportunities in what I call the new economy. Okay. I believe we're entering a new economy, which is actually really an old economy, but you know, we're going back to those days. Okay. And I, and I call it new because it is some, you know, the way we're, you know, uh, doing business with each other, right? Now you have influencers and things like that. So we'll get into that here in a minute. What niches to sell in, okay? I'm also gonna share with you guys what niches you can be selling POD products, okay? And I'm gonna show you how, how you can make money right now with POD with rely, without relying on Shopify, and that should actually say Facebook, okay? So right now, we all know as marketers, if you've been in the game for a while, you've been selling products or drop shipping or, or you know, being an affiliate, you know, um, the, the problems we've had over over the last you know couple years with Facebook right and and over the last year it's just become a freaking nightmare with Facebook right legitimate accounts getting banned you know CPMs going through the roof you know just and not only that but just the user experience right more people are getting tired of buying products I actually had a comment that say hey you know I'm not buying anything on Facebook everything's a scam so Let's get into what is print on demand, okay? So print on demand, what it necessarily is, is products that you're making on demand, right? These products are made when the customer buys it. So, you know, you don't have the product in inventory, you don't have it in stock, but when the customer, but you have it on your website, right? you know, there's various print on demand products and we'll get into what, you know, you can sell blankets, you can sell hoodies, you can sell skincare products, you can actually sell diet supplements as well. There's various print on demand. It's just not clothing, okay? Um, you only pay for the order after the order, the order is made, right? You're only going to pay after an order is made, right? Again, there's no more inventory, you know, the old way of doing businesses. And that's why I say this one is so easy, right? Because I've spent, <laughs> let me tell you, and just supplements of loan, I've probably spent, you know, 30000 and have lost so much money just holding inventory, which I never sold, where, you know, we had this offer called Garcinia. I forget that, I think it was Nat Nature's Miracle or miracles something <laughs> and um you know we were selling garcinia at the time not garcinia yeah it was garcinia actually and you know we bought all this inventory but then garcinia kind of died right so we weren't weren't able to sell our inventory and we lost so much money just in having this inventory in our warehouse okay um, also products can be uniquely customized to the customers right this is again why i love print on demand right? You, you, you're not selling products that, are, that you're seeing on the spy tools that are drop shipping products, right? You know, as a product that's sold from, you know, AliExpress that everyone else is selling, okay? You can create really unique designs and put them on these products and really sell really like unique designs that people love, that people want to buy. They're like, oh man, I want to get this for my daughter. I want to get this for my husband. I want to get this for myself, because, you know, I like what's on this product, right? It, it relates to me, right? And this is where the opportunity exists, okay? Also, products are made and shipped in the U.S., okay? I remember this one time when, in 2018, I was selling POD and, you know, we were doing this, this horror hoodie. And, and believe it or not, we were selling over $20,000, in, in, in selling horror hoodies, okay? This is when my eyes opened up to, you know, print on demand. I just saw this huge opportunity. I'm like, wow, if I can sell this much just with one hoodie, imagine all the, and this is horror, right? Horror fans, okay? Imagine all the other movies that there are, right? All the genres, all the, you know, all the classics. I mean, you have to sell renditions. Yeah, you can't sell you know, the actual characters from the movie, but you can have an artist create a rendition of that and sell that, okay? Um, so yeah, there's a lot of opportunity, okay? And you can get these products made. And oh, where I was going with this is that, you know, when I was selling these horror hoodies, I actually flew out to China because um, and flew out and, and met with these factories, okay? Because I was printing horror hoodies for $8 a hoodie. 
okay, at $8 a hoodie. And then with shipping, I was paying about 11 to $12, okay, to ship the items to the US. But think about that, $12 hoodie that I was paying for to have it shipped in the US, and I was re-able to sell these hoodies at $54.99, okay? The value is ridiculous, okay? But the problem is we had all these, you know, the Trump tariffs and things like that, but now, you know, what's, what's, what's even better is this POD companies, yeah, you have to pay a little bit more money, but you can leverage made in USA, okay? Because especially right now with the whole coronavirus thing going, you know, you want to make sure that your products are made and shipped in the US, right? Especially for the consumers. They don't want products that are coming from China. And so if you can have that selling point on your website, you're going to generate more sales. You're going to have higher conversions, okay? Um, also, your business can be automated, okay? And it's scalable, right? Think about, you know, all the different genres, all the different animals, you know, there's so many niches that you can create POD products around, okay? And then also, there's various business models, okay? You can start a pet shop, you can start a skincare line, you can start a diet brand, okay? A gift brand, um, a jewelry brand, okay? You can make POD products with jewelry, right? You can have a picture uploaded on a necklace, okay? Which is awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna share with you guys the, these companies that you can use, these POD companies um, that you can use, that you can start selling. And in this video, I'm gonna show you, you know, one that you can actually, you don't need a Shopify account, you don't need Facebook, you can actually start selling and making money today, okay? And it's the easiest way uh, to create POD prints, it really is. All right, so this is what some print-on-demand products look like, okay, guys? This is um, this is actually a company called Interest Print. They actually make POD products, okay? If you notice, there's two different images, one on the left which and one on the right. Which one would you guys prefer to wear, okay? This is the way, you know, print-on-demand used to be done, which is, you know, you'll take a product, upload a picture of some, you know, and put it on a shirt, right? But now you have what's called sublimation where you can actually put that print all over the shirt okay like that and you could put put it all over a hoodie i actually have some this is one this is a design that i created on 99 designs because i love fishing okay and uh so i wanted to create a fishing hoodie and so this was the design i came up with and i also put it on a shirt okay so these sublimation designs think about that people are passionate about different things right and if you can put you know people's passion onto things that they would wear what you have there is a recipe for success, right? You have a recipe of, you know, a high probability of generating a sale, okay? Because you're combine, combining somebody's passion and then you're combining with something that's growing and always trending, right? Especially, and then if you combined it with seasonality, right? Like right now, we're in the winter time, okay? If you know anything about marketing, right? You want to create products around your season, okay? So you wouldn't necessarily sell a t-shirt. You would sell maybe a hoodie, Okay, or a, a blanket, especially blankets. They're, they're. I mean, blankets right now. We're selling blankets, and they're they're selling like crazy. Okay. Um. So this is what's called print on demand on steroids. Okay. So this is a new opportunity that exists. Where you know what? Which one would you prefer to wear now? Would you prefer to wear something like this, or would you prefer to have like a customized? you know, your family member on your shirt, maybe your grandma just passed away, or, you know, uh, you know, maybe you're very religious and you just want to have a nice good Christian quote on your shirt that you know, right? So this is, this is what's called print on demand on steroids, what I call on steroids, right? Because it allows you to now personalize, the customer can now personalize that product that they're buying. And these are different types of products that you can offer customers. I mean, there's a lot more products than this, guys. Okay, so think about that. Here we have a hoodie. They can upload, you know, a picture of their dog, right? And it can be on their hoodie. That's pretty awesome, right? Um, you know, another dog in a hoodie, right? You could even make it a cartoon character if you wanted to. Now, look at this. Look at this personalization, okay? Elizabeth and Jacob. Now you have names on here and then you have pictures, guys, okay? And guess what? You don't, it's not something you don't have to make this. You don't have to fulfill this, okay? You just use an app where customers can upload their photos, okay? You have to, and you hire a designer on, you know, upworks.com to create this little template, okay, for you, right? The same thing with, um, you know, you can sell, especially right now for the holidays. I know a good friend of mine who has been doing a lot of um, ornaments, okay? There's a, there's a CPA offer with ornaments, customized ornaments, right? And, and what's good about this is because what's beautiful about this actually is that 
you know, a customer can upload a pic. Okay, and here we have an ornament. Okay, it says our first Christmas together and we have Chris and Mary or Christ and Mary, okay? And there's a picture of them, right? So they can, you come up with this design, they can upload their photo and then you just, right? You can, you can get this printed for them, okay? Now you don't have to buy it up front, okay? It's once they upload their photo, they pay for the product. Once they pay for it, then you go ahead and you order it from the company, okay? Let's show you more. Here's some more print-on-demand products, guys. Look at this. Look at this customized cutting board, okay? You can have all types of quotes, okay, on here. Grandma's Kitchen. You can have, here's your family's name on there, okay? Uh, and these are some mock-ups that I actually bought for, uh, this, this is a company called Printex. And, and we're going to get into this course. I'm going to share with you guys all these companies that you can use to create these print-on-demand products, okay? And look at coffee mugs, okay? These are laser etched, okay? Laser etched, okay? You have... Um, or these are drinking mugs, okay? Then you have wine glasses here, shot glasses. Look at this, the man, the myth, the legend. Like, look at these customized products, right, guys? Right? No two products are ever the same, okay? And that's the beauty about print on demand, right? You're not selling these cheap, over shipped, drop shipped products from China, right? That could potentially harm people, okay? And here's, you know, people are willing to spend more money, right? So here's higher cart value. Okay, so this is just blankets, guys. These are just one blanket. You can see if people add two, $103, okay? So a $70 order value, and that's with a discount, okay? Because normally people are paying $79.95, okay? So you see the high cart value? That's not even, this store is not even upselling, guys. I'm not even leveraging upsells, okay? So, and this is recent as of December 13th, okay? So it shows you this stuff works. It allows you to get these high cart values. High cart value means... Guess what? You can pay more money on traffic. All right, so now let's get into the opportunity, okay, guys? I'm going to show you like a bird's eye overview of, you know, why the opportunity, like if you're new, get, getting started online, why you can make tons of money. And even if you're not new, if you have tons of experience, then you probably already know this. I'm going to show you guys, kind of break it down in, in layman's term and show you guys where the opportunity exists, okay? So... In my opinion, we are going back to the days of barter and trade. And that's just it, right? We're going back to the days of barter and trade. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is the level of transparency that we had back in the day that necessarily we don't have anymore or we didn't have for a while, right? Because of, you know, the smoke and mirrors, right? We had, you know, a lot of smoke and mirrors and, and, and that's what's happening now, okay? People are tired of, you know, buying products online and then getting something in the mail that looks like this. Okay, and why do they buy these products is because the smoke and mirrors, right? The psychology, the influence, you know, hurry, supplies are limited. It's the things that we've taken from infomercials, okay? But now you have a level of transparency that exists that, you know, yeah, you can make money like this, but it won't last long, right? Because now you have reviews, okay? You have real-time reviews. People are reviewing products. Okay, and you know, once your reviews hit your website and if they're bad, I mean, even Facebook doesn't allow you to advertise anymore if you have bad reviews, okay? You're gonna pay, your cost per click is gonna be high. They have, Facebook has a review mechanism where they will send your purchasers a survey. Was this, was this advertiser shipping on time? No, if people market no, guess what? You're going to spend a lot more money. You're going to lose money in advertising. You're not going to be able to create a business because we're going back to the days of barter and trade where if I had salt and you had rice, okay, I would probably lick your salt or you, if you had salt and I had rice, I would probably lick your salt. Make sure it was salt because we had that one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one interaction, right? That was transparency, okay? We weren't sold, right? We weren't fucking using all these marketing tactics to, you know, make the transaction, which is what we're doing now because of infomercials, because of TV, because how we consumed information, right? Our tribes ended up becoming our family tribes, and then we stood home to watch TV, right? After a long day of work to be programmed and conditioned to stay home and watch TV and to buy stuff we don't need, Right. Um, you know, how else did we review the new Sony TV that, you know, everyone's buying? OK, that was sold on TV back in the day before we had the Internet. 
right? We had to take their word for it, okay? We had to take their word for it. How else would you review those products? We didn't have the internet, okay? But now we have internet where we're all connected, so we can all review those products, right? And we can get information a lot faster, right? Through YouTube, through social media, okay? So now we can get this information a lot faster through social media, right? So now it's no longer what you say about your brand, right? Because let's say Sony was selling that new TV and now Sony goes, somebody goes on social media and says, hey guys, you know, should I buy that new Sony TV that was, you know what, your friend might be like, nah, forget Sony, go to Samantha's TV Shack. Because Samantha's TV Shack, her customers love her. Her, her fans are going crazy over her. She offers lifetime guarantee. Guys, now what's more value? Sony TV? What's going to generate more sales? Sony TV or Samantha's TV Shack? You see now where the power comes in, right? Now we have the power. If we understand that, we can build a business, right? Right? So how do we build that? Through these different platforms, okay? This is where we can make money. This is where the opportunity exists. We can build these tribes. See how these tribes are set up? Okay, think about that. These are all tribes, okay? Set up just like that. And that's what we can build. This is how we make money. We're going to build these tribes, okay? And give people what they want, right? So what is a tribe, right? Think about your, you know, tribes are just markets, niches, okay? Think about the things that you love. Think about the things that you're passionate about, okay? If you want to sell products and, and, and if you want to sell products online, you want to sell them around hot markets or around niches that people are passionate around. Okay, like golfing, you know, fishing. I love fishing. This is why I printed my own fishing hoodie. Okay, animals, right? People love their animals, right? They'll put their animals on their products. Okay, right? And you can create, you can create these tribes, which basically is just communities on Facebook, on social media, around the things that you love. I'm a magician. Anybody knows me, you know I'm a magician. Actually, follow me on Instagram. Magician is my handle, right? You're going to start seeing me sell a lot more POD stuff, okay? Shirts, hoodies around magic, right? Because I've been thinking about, okay, what am I going to do with this magician profile for the last few years? Then it's like, wait, I just create a mag magic community, right? Share magic videos, and now I can sell, right? This is what I'm talking about, creating a tribe. Then I can sell things around that tribe, right? Like Houdini, put Houdini or a Houdini character on a, on a hoodie. Or put like magic cards or maybe a magic move on a, on a hoodie. Or maybe a quote about magic on an underwear, on a boxer, or on a sock, right? I mean, you could even, I could even make a magic trick, maybe a reveal on a shirt. Right where the the Ace of Hearts reveals on the pocket the per what the person selected, right? That'd be pretty cool, actually. Wow, look at getting ideas. Okay, so this is where the opportunity exists, guys. You can go around, you can create these tribes, and you can create these POD products. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make money without Shopify and Facebook. Okay, one of the largest customization platforms is Etsy, and this is why I love POD. Right, because the products. You can have the product, the customer upload a picture of that item, right? They can print their, their, their cat on there. I'm going to get to that in the training. There's other videos that I show you how to add these customization tools, okay? Right? So Etsy is one of those platforms where, you know, I've talked to a lot of my friends and I've asked them, ask your friends that love it, you know, why, why do they go on Etsy and shop? And they will tell you that it's because the unique products that they can find. Okay, and if you look at Etsy's growth, just look at it. I mean, look at their growth this last year, right? They're going by leaps and bounds, okay? Because not only that is, you know, with my assumption that we're going back to the days of barter and, tr barter and trade, right? Now people are creating their own products on Etsy. I mean, if I want, I can buy pasteles, which is a Puerto Rican um, dish, a Puerto Rican. We only make it during the holidays. It's uh, a plantain dish. It's kind of like a tamale. Right. I can buy, actually buy that from someone on Etsy, believe it or not. Right. And, and this is why this marketplace is growing. Look at Etsy's growth over there. You can see more people shop on this network due to the fact it's kind of a barter and trade network. People doing business with people who make unique products. Right. I can literally buy Spanish pateles on Etsy. 
right? And if you read the book Influence by Robert Caldini, he says people buy from people who are just like them. So let's get into it, right? How do we create these products? I'm gonna show you a platform that you can start using right now using customcat.com. And you can see these are sales that I'm actually generating right now, guys. I think this is what base cost, $7.99. This is blankets. So I'm selling some blankets here and then I'm selling, what else am I selling? Uh, some coffee mugs, okay? So this is coffee mugs and blankets that I'm selling on Etsy.com, okay? And how you do that is, let's get into these slides, okay? First off, you wanna connect your Etsy account to Custom Cat, okay? And I should've went over this in the slide. Don't worry, I'm sure there's a video where I go into detail on how to do that, okay? So you're gonna get to this screen once you select like Etsy, you're gonna add your product. Click on Add Product right here. Okay, then you're gonna get into the next screen. You're gonna select whatever product you want, okay? I recommend you sell for the season, okay? Right now, winter. So sell blankets, sell coffee mugs, okay? Right, so here we got our mugs. You select your mug, then you attach your design, okay? In the videos, I show you guys how to create these designs and how to push them over to Etsy, okay? Um, so here we got our design. You confirm, you go to the next screen. Now we have our design. You can set your pricing as well. And then you just select export right here, export products. Now guess what? Now your product is live on Etsy.com. Just like that, guys. The next step you wanna do is just run on, on the left side, click on marketing, then go over here to Etsy ads, okay? Actually, I should have deleted this. Right? Here we go. Now what you want to do is click on the left side marketing, click on Etsy ads, and just run a $5 budget. Man it, advertise your listing. And you can see here, guys, look, I spent $123 to make, oops, let's go back into here, to make $900, guys. All right, so that's it for this free course. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you.